Good morning and uh, welcome to day three of this year's UK Ports Conference brought to you by the Waterfront Group. Um, and at Fraser Nash, we're, we've been very interested in, in, in how it can be used uh, for these particularly hard to abate sectors, of, of which, of course, ports and shipping is, is, a, is a key sector. We also look very much at the underlying infrastructure. So, the, the, you know, the things like the power supply, how to make sure that that is resilient and suitable to the increasing electrification. They're competing on this international field, but trying to meet all of the requirements and the obligations within their local space too. What are the options for ports? What happens when you get asked by an operator, we're thinking about setting up a new service, we want to have a vessel call, you a port, but we're going to be using Fuel X. Can you bunker us for Fuel X? Our session today really is all about the drive to improve air quality and the wider environment how the port is addressing those challenges and an overview of some of the projects that we have underway. But also an absolute target, uh, trying uh, at least to have a 50% reduction of greenhouse gas emissions or CO2 emissions of shipping by 2050, preferably more, of course. This presentation looked at why it is so rare in the UK and what could be done about it. Um, so I'm going to give uh, just a, a brief overview really of uh, past, present and future activities at Shoreham um, in the context of power, fuel and, and decarbonisation as, as the theme has been this morning. In terms of the port of Ireland itself, we are already a leading UK offshore wind hub and we're actively involved in a, a number of the opportunities that I'm going to um, set out for you today. Firstly, look at the driving forces, uh, obviously, around the development goals uh, for offshore wind, and then try and touch on a couple of the trends uh, in the sort of wider industry. 